the band from India. I said, India? <laughs> like, you know, five years ago it was so much fun. I couldn't understand how it's possible because, of course, I know about India, about history. I know it's a really huge country, but extreme music, extreme metal in India, I have no idea, no idea. And then these guys just came and they were so, how to say, friendly, funny, they love it all. You know, they understood what's going on here in this place, like in a second, like this. So uh, we're playing a few festivals on this tour, we're playing Death Coffee Party, we're playing Obscene Extreme, we're playing uh, Inflammen of Bonaire, uh, maybe I think another one too, uh, but yeah we've got about 16 shows lined up. So the first show of the tour was in Death Coffee Party. It's a festival in Lito, Lito Milice, Czech Republic. And um, it was the first show of our, the first leg of our tour with Placenta Parfist. And um, it was a beautiful festival. A great start to the tour. It was amazing and we watched some great bands. We had a great show and I think, um, yeah, we met a lot of old friends and it was in a beautiful place, a huge, um, very green area, a lot of trees, uh, slightly in the outskirts of Czech Republic. So it was a little, it was quite, um, <laughs> it was uh, quite intimate. Right. Yeah, 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 this festival is seven years old. And yeah, it's not a big one, but it's it's a special one, you know, because it's the middle of the, the urban garden. It's like the most famous garden place in Czech Republic. Yeah, this festival is a big tent, so it's different than like the normal open air, you know, because we have like a stage. I think the Gaslit in this year, the Dead Coffee Part is like the most exotic band, you know. All right, this next track is called Next Time Party. I'm Lucas from Placenta Powerfist and uh, I'm doing the guitar for Placenta Powerfist and this is also Lucas doing the bass for Placenta Powerfist and we are the main guys from Placenta Powerfist organizing everything and managing all the stuff. We were touring with Gutslit already like how many times I don't know three times mm -hmm. or two times mm -hmm. but we saw uh, we met them first at the uh, Death Feast uh, 2014 where they played and we also played there and then we became uh, friends and uh, now we love to tour together. Yeah, it was pretty nice uh, to uh, see people from another culture, from another uh, uh, continent, uh, how they live, how they experience their life and also touring with them is pretty, pretty nice and easy and I like it really much to, to uh, be with them around and have a nice time. Ja, das ist
for 20 every day? All day. Every day. No, I, I'm yeah, going in. <laughs> but if you are a friend so. of him, then <laughs> you are doing this. If not, then okay. Currently, we are at Obscene Extreme Festival. This festival is really special to us. It was the first ever gig we played on European soil. It's the festival that actually gave us our breakthrough in this market, you could say. And the fans over here are some of the most friendliest and crazy people you'll ever meet in your lifetime. And for us to play this a second time, the only band from India to have ever done this. I had that 25 uh, beer day and uh, I was like, why not to do like really nice big party? So I invite maybe like, if I'm not mistaken, 40 bands. And they were like here on Butterfield, there were like 1,200 people for first Obscene Extreme, you know. I just, uh, you know, I do this festival for myself. And I'm very happy if some people like, uh, you know, uh, support me in the idea of bringing such a great lineup. And then, you know, then they buy tickets and show us the support. It's like beautiful. The musicians are same all around the world, you know, absolutely, completely same. They have passion for the, especially in extreme music scene. We are like the brothers and sisters. It's just incredible.
So sometimes what happens is like you know you cannot rely on shows to pay you that much or festivals to pay you that much to cover up. So there needs to be something that you need to invest in that is basically merchandise. And merchandise is something that it has a double game. One is that you're gonna earn a little bit money out of it and that you're gonna reinvest in the music. Second thing is that that you need uh, like you know people like to take something back home, be it in form of CDs I would say or vinyls if they collect that, stickers, patches, t-shirts, like even pants, hot pants or miscellaneous, like whatever you would term it under as merchandise. So what happens is like in art also, we put a lot of significance on the merchandise. Luckily, we have uh, Aaron Pinto, Kid Squiddy, working with us in the band as a drummer, who is also like a brilliant, like, you know, designer, illustrator, graphic designer, or like, you know, even in like, a, like who, who has like, it's like a multi-talented person who does amazing artworks for us. There's always going to be friction, uh, and four people are spending uh, so much time together in a you know in in, in a in a van or a you know hotel room overnight or you know just sticking together during the entire tour. I mean, we are here in Europe for a month, almost a month. So you know the friction's always going to be there. It's just about you know just doing your own thing and you know making sure you're not in anybody else's way or you know or vice versa. And you know I. I think it it kind of settles itself. It's just you know you just gotta do your own thing. You know not let stuff get to you, and yeah, just be chill and I guess. But definitely on the other hand, the hard work that goes into it just to make it to the venue, get the backline going, get like you know yourself in that mental state where the fatigue or the lack of sleep doesn't matter. You have to give your A game because obviously people who have come for the show 
they have come to see you perform they are not there like you know to see a tired musician on stage who's traveled like 400 500 1000 kilometers and who's just come there and like you know he's he's just like oh yeah this is a song this is a song and done no Today is the first show of the Gutsled Dying Fetus tour, and we are pretty excited. We are headed to Kassel right now in Germany. We are on our way to Essen now, and uh, it's supposed to be one of the best venues to play at in Germany. then once we head towards the end of the end of the tour you realize like we you've done so much you've achieved so much with these guys and like you're like a family and you're just on a rush and like an adrenaline rush and you feel really really good and like it just go it's just it's like a swell it's like a end off in release at that point and like uh again it, nothing really matters and you really end up end the tour on a really really good note four people four or five people together in the same space um it's can get really tricky but at the same time it's very important for everyone to have a common agenda and know that we are all here for a common cause and it's nothing to do with a person's personality or personal lives none of that you know it's so important that humans in general realize that it's okay to be different and everyone comes from completely different backgrounds different upbringing and you know it's fine like each person can have their own way of life but for many for people who come together for a common cause i think that's the beauty in anything